Hey guys, we are here at Pink Buckle with Bailey Wallace, and obviously that's Erin. I'm Chris, hey! <laughs> Anyways, we just thought we would uh, pick her brain and see what is going through the mind of these racers as they're going out there and competing this weekend. A lot of money up for up for grabs. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But from the Northwest, I'm sort of just happy to be here. Yeah, especially with our weather up there. Yeah, <laughs> today, hey, right? It's, yeah. it's pretty cold here too today, but yeah. it's not snowing. No, no, that's a plus. Yes, that's right. So we've been watching some fresh horses in the warm-up pen a little bit today, and it's pretty fun. Oh, but... yeah, it's always entertaining. Right. <laughs> as so... long as it's not yours. Yeah. Yes, right. <laughs> right, so what are you running this year? I am running, well, my main horse, JJ. Okay. Um, my other gilding, Scrap, mm -hmm. is 12 this year. Okay. And then my nine-year-old, who is a homebred race, so that's always exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite part so far of Pink Buckle? I mean, is it the fact that they are willing to give out so much money and kind of just really try and put barrel racing at the front end of Spotlight? That, that um, they sort of opened it up for the barrels to have that much money in our industry, which is really cool to right. be a part of it. Right. Um, because I think it's just going to be something that keeps growing. Yeah. That's and, what's exciting, yeah. I think, too. It's Today is day number two. And how did it go yesterday? Well, it went it went good. I'll say that. We had a couple of little slips, but he worked good, so mm -hmm. I couldn't ask any more. Our first barrel is usually our barrel that we sort of shoot by, and we, we turned it pretty good yet first run, so I'm happy with that. And he always runs harder the second run of the weekend. So good. I'm thinking it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day, hopefully. Let's hope. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that answers our next question, which was, how do you feel going into this? So I know, feel good going into it. <laughs> good day. Awesome. So yeah, and she's at the at the bottom of the pack today, so she gets to kind of chase the numbers, which I yep. that would be where I like to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of setting the pace, that's going funny. after yeah. it. So then you're like, oh, what's gonna what's gonna come in? Uh -huh. Right. At least going into it, you know who's ran, who has yet to run, and. Right. So, so what's your plans for after? Well, we have one more race of the season back home, um, the team challenge, and then that's we'll be home for a couple of days actually, and then we go to that, mm -hmm. and then that ends the season for me. Yeah. So, what do you do in the off season? Um. Well, I mean, other I than shovel of, snow. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. I might be shoveling snow when we get home, which is not right. fun in October. Right. But ah, uh, I tinker. Yeah, I'm tinker, yeah. Um, I give the horses a couple months off, we enjoy yep. a nice break, and then about December, January, we start hauling the young ones back to the indoor and get yep. the boys back in shape. But for the most part, it's just sort of kicking it, enjoying the, mm -hmm. not rushing everywhere, every weekend. Right. So. I know we had figured this out what a couple of years ago about the whole thing. Like God's probably pretty smart about how He gives us daylight, and yeah. way less of it in the winter time. Maybe we need to sleep and rest and catch yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice to recoup. Yeah, yes, exactly. Jumping back Instead into of it. just pushing, pushing, pushing the whole yeah. time through, I think the horses like that break. Oh and yeah, yeah. I think we all like that break. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're yes, rooting for you. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you very much. Well, good right. luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. See ya.